travel could become commonplace because as you approach the speed of light, time slows down. If you exceed the speed of light, time goes backwards. In our vast universe, the speed of light serves as an intrinsic boundary, dictating the maximum speed of movement and the pace of processes, even at the minuscule molecular level. Information transmission occurs at this constant speed, which is considered the ultimate limit for motion. However, our measurements only encompass the two-way journey of light. This involves reflecting light off a mirror to determine the round-trip duration. Consequently, assuming the consistency of light speed in both directions becomes a necessary step, though it might not be accurate. In today's episode, join us to explore the mind-bending world of time paradoxes that have scientists on edge. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Imagine a scenario where a crucial message is dispatched from Earth to the initial Mars settlers. The message advises, this signal was transmitted at midnight. Adjust your clocks accordingly. We know that light takes 24 minutes to travel to Mars and back to Earth. The Mars settlers deduce that the one-way light speed is half of the round-trip speed and align their clocks to 12 minutes past midnight upon receiving the message. However, in this instance, light speed to Mars is only 50% of its usual velocity, leading to a 24-minute travel time to reach the planet. Unaware of this discrepancy, the Mars settlers respond, clock adjusted, message sent at 12 minutes past midnight. Meanwhile, the return signal to Earth traverses instantly. When scientists receive this message, they presume a 12-minute journey for the Martian signal, overlooking the 12-minute time difference. This example underscores the significance of comprehending the speed of light in unraveling the mysterious nature of time. Yet, the definition of time remains elusive. Time is often linked to changes like sea reasons or as a practical tool for coordinating meetings. However, this ticking clock merely represents the Earth's orbit around the Sun. The challenge arises from the disconnect between moving through space and time, each appearing to adhere to distinct rules. While there's a universal speed limit for spatial movement, the question remains. Does a corresponding limit exist for temporal progression? As the Earth orbits the Sun at a relatively unhurried pace, a universal reference clock remains absent. Time seems to elapse uniquely for each individual. Einstein's theory of general relativity highlights the peculiar correlation between speed and time. To fully appreciate this connection, one needs to observe swiftly moving objects. At higher velocities, intriguing paradoxes emerge. The faster an object travels through space, the more it slows down its traversal through time, a phenomenon known as relativistic time dilation. Consider a scenario where a rocket reaches 99.99% of the speed of light. When an onboard passenger shines a flashlight, its speed remains unaffected. Unlike classical physics, where velocities sum up, the flashlight's speed remains remains constant, independent of the rocket's velocity. This challenges the notion that if the speed of light doesn't alter, time must. This becomes evident when envisioning riding a motorcycle at light speed and trying to observe your reflection in a side mirror moving at the same speed. Dilemmas arise that necessitate explanations. To maintain consistent measurements of light speed for all observers, the universe employs ingenious strategies. Approaching light speed leads to time dilation and length contraction. A peculiar phenomenon called the Terrell Penrose effect results in apparent object rotation due to high speeds. These alterations only apply from an external observer's viewpoint. Travelers at near light speed experience no such changes. This discrepancy stems from the absence of a shared objective frame of reference, making distinctions between motion and stillness elusive. Time dilation is a real and irreversible phenomenon. As a speeding rocket halts, onboard crew and Earth observers notice clock disparities. Time flows unidirectionally, propelling us forward. While advancements enable us to manipulate time's progression, journeying into the past challenges our understanding. If time stops at light speed and flows at full rate when stationary, reversing it would seemingly require surpassing light speed. Perhaps the speed of light serves as an overarching speed limit for both time and space travel. Looking back in time is already feasible. Distant observations grant insights into the past. 
Theoretical concepts like the Tipler Cylinder propose methods for potential time travel. Such megastructures could warp time around them, potentially allowing time travel within specific conditions. However, the complexities of achieving this remain far-reaching. It's possible that our conventional understanding of time's linear direction might be challenged. If we consider space and time as a unified entity, the concepts of then and there, or now and here, could dissolve. This notion aligns with the block universe theory, also known as eternalism. According to this theory, time resembles a block with every moment, past, present and future existing equally. Analogous to the space outside the observable universe, even though inaccessible, all moments coexist. If this holds true, the laws of physics in such a reality might enable backward time travel, though without the ability to alter events significantly. In this pre-existing future, events are predetermined and inevitable, potentially negating free will for its inhabitants. Such a scenario would be rife with causal loops. Causal loops create self-sustaining closed cycles in which future events impact past events and vice versa. Imagine you stumble upon a captivating notepad in an old bookstore which sparks your journey toward becoming a renowned author. Later, you pass by the same bookstore and lose the draft, leading the store owner to display the very notepad you discovered. Here, the loop dictates events, leaving no room for deviations or alternate choices. Some causal loops present even broader paradoxes. Now, consider a mysterious letter arriving at your doorstep, providing instructions to build a time machine. With no sender information, curiosity drives you to construct the machine. Afterward, you embark on a journey back in time, meeting your younger self and delivering the same letter. In this self-referential loop, the origin remains unclear. This bootstrap paradox raises the restoration paradox. A looped object deteriorates over time, making time travel to restore it challenging. The grandfather paradox, famous in time travel discussions, leads to further complexities. Recent research suggests that paradox-free time travel is theoretically feasible. You could journey into the past and undertake various actions, but the timeline would self-correct to maintain the same outcome. Quantum mechanics introduces quantum superposition, which could offer a solution. In the case of the grandfather paradox, a time traveler could exist in multiple versions of the past simultaneously, creating parallel threads until observed. The Many Worlds interpretation proposes that branching universes emerge with every time travel instance, where different versions of events occur. The bootstrap paradox could be resolved as a cycle of multiple universes, each spawning the next through interactions. In this perspective, our universe might generate new branches with every event that has multiple potential outcomes. This interpretation extends to the infinite monkey theorem, suggesting that such unlikely events might be realized in alternate branches. In the grand scope of possibilities, such a theory offers an explanation for seemingly improbable events. Considering the likelihood that our universe might be balanced on its side, akin to an improbable coin flip, reveals the complex and fascinating nature of reality. 